My name is Annalise. My friends call me Anna, and I've believed in God for pretty much my whole life. I've always grown up in the church, but as I got older, I began to know who he was more, which sparked a light in me. Before quarantine, I had a lot of friends and went to school, you know, life is normal. But then the pandemic happened and it just really became lonely. I realized how much I needed and wanted community with people who loved God. On Sunday morning at Elevation Online, they were talking about e-groups and that was the first time I heard about it. It immediately caught my interest, but I was like, eh, maybe. But then the first day of youth X, they were talking about e-groups again and I knew I just had to do it. So I finally took the dive to join an e-group online and I didn't hear anything back. So I just stayed in the YouTube chat live and encouraged others to join until I got a text from Brittany. She was so kind and did some digging to find out why I was able to get into a group and was finally able to get me connected to a group immediately on Zoom. I was so nervous about going into a group, especially over Zoom. I hadn't met or seen any of these people before, but as soon as I got on, everyone was so nice to me and welcomed me with open arms. They didn't even know who I was, but they were still so kind and acted like they had known me forever. On the second night of youth X, we had group and we began to go a bit deeper. One of the girls started sharing about a really difficult struggle she was going through that none of us would have ever expected. That whole group time, all of us just cried and prayed and talked together. It was really a special night that I'll remember forever. Through group, I've made many tight bonds with two girls specifically, Phoebe, who lives in Maryland, and Gwen, who lives in the Philippines. We can't wait to get together and meet up in person, but until then, we FaceTime all the time and talk, and then recently, we even joined the social squad together. After Exact's love week happened, and I really wasn't sure what to expect. I felt like I couldn't do a lot from Florida, but I still gave away five bags of clothes to a foster care facility near me. I made cookies for people like the fire station and then wrote letters to people in the community and even Brittany. After youth X, I was just so overwhelmed with gratitude for Brittany and how she really got me connected, and so I just wanted to let her know how much her role meant to me. Because of this experience, it has really made me want to move to Charlotte and be in youth ministry and be able to be a part of the church in person someday. If you are on the fence about joining the group, just do it. I know you're probably nervous because I was too, but it has really grown my faith. It is so cool to hear from others about their walk with God, and it's just a community that you might not know you need, but you do. It'll be one of the best decisions you will ever make. You will not regret it. We believe in the you! And we hope you enjoyed that video. Honestly, we create content like this just for you. And uh, whether you're engaging with your friends and your family or whether it's just with the comments below, we would love for you to continue to do that. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and we hope to see you at the next video. Love you.